This is Super Yacht News with Yves Sisman. Hi, welcome back to the channel. So I've got quite a few stories going on tonight. Uh, first of all, I wanted to uh, do an update on the yacht that sank in Greece. That was in the that was the thumbnail for the uh, the previous video. Okay, so. Uh, quite a lot of confusion around this story, which I'm going to explain in a second. Um, one of the funniest things that I was accused of was actually photoshopping the photographs that you saw uh, in the previous video. And the three guys sat in the boat. Apparently, I, I photoshopped that and it was a normal picture. But as you can see in the video that's running right now, there's a video of that boat uh, on uh, on the rocks there or on on the reef. And um, and you can uh, this was taken after the people had been uh, rescued from it. But anyway, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because so the vessel that was in the accident was a Ferretti uh, 830. That was the model of, of the type of yacht that, that was in the accident. Now you can see from this photograph here what they hit. And you can see there's a reef system there and they've, they've run aground right on top of it. And the vessel was stranded on that reef system after they hit. Uh, obviously, they've ripped off the hull and uh, it took on water. So the good news is, is that the vessel has actually been recovered. One of the things I was going to say in this video was that it looked like by where the vessel was lying, that it could be recovered and it has been recovered. That's the great, the great news is just before I, I came on to make this video, uh, I, I saw that the, the vessel had actually indeed been recovered. Now, according to Super Yacht Times, who had photographs of the vessel being lifted on a crane with straps onto a barge and, uh, and, and yeah, and recovered. So that's good news. I, I can't show you any of the photos because they're on the Super Yacht Times website and I used one of their photos once with verbal, verbal uh, approval and still got a copyright strike. So I'm not going to do that again. Uh, I have asked them if I could use them, but they, they haven't got back to me yet. Uh, if I if I do get permission, I'll put them in the next video, but I'll put a link to the article on Super Times website and you can go and look at those uh, photos yourself. Now, amazingly, and here's where the confusion came from. Amazingly, on the same day that that yacht crashed in Greece, this vessel also hit a reef in the Bahamas and sank. So, and the reason why there was so much confusion is because both vessels were Ferretti 830s. I'm, I'm led to believe, and it does look like indeed that this second vessel is a Ferretti 830. And this one came to the same fate as the previous one. And it was uh, close to Chub K in the Bahamas. Um, and I, what I was told is there were four people on board and one person had some injuries, but nobody was uh, seriously injured. Um, so, yeah, so that's amazing, isn't it? That on the same day in two different parts of the world, the same model boat hit a reef and sank or hit reefs, different ones, obviously, and sank. Because I had some people actually texting me saying, uh, you, you know, the, you, you got the, the locations wrong. It's not in Greece, it's in the Bahamas. And so there was, yeah, there was a lot, there was confusion created by the fact that two vessels that almost were almost identical crashed on the same day and, uh, yeah, had, had the, suffered the same fate. Uh, but like I said, uh, the good news is nobody was hurt. And, um, you know, uh, and, and in, in terms of the first one, the vessel's been recovered. All right, so we'll move on to another story. There's a quite a few um, flag changes going on right now, and this could be a sign of more to come. Uh, the first one, Motiot Garçon. This is a support vessel or a shadow vessel, and uh, the vessel is owned by Roman Abramovich. Now, if you don't know what a shadow vessel is, I've talked about them in the past. Basically, it's a, it's a super yacht standard vessel that is specifically designed to carry toys, like usually like helicopters and fast speed boats, fishing boats, jet skis, sea doos, all that kind of stuff, uh, submarines, what have you. So, so the owner will have a yacht and a support yacht, and the yacht support yacht follows the main yacht around. Um, the vessel is alongside another boat owned by Roman Abramovich called Halo. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this this boat up because they both got arrested in Antigua and they're both in Antigua right now, uh, a few meters away from another vessel that's also uh, stuck in Antigua and that's Alpha Nero. But the reason why I'm talking about Garson right now is because uh, yesterday, the 10th of July, uh, Garson suddenly changed her flag state. So one other thing about Roman Abramovich is every boat 
that he has in his fleet, and yes, he has a fleet of boats are registered in Bermuda. And uh, that was until yesterday. And now Garson is re has been re-registered in the Cook Islands or re-flagged in the Cook Islands. Um, so yeah, that's very interesting development. Now, I suspect this is the first of all of the boats. Now, I, I had heard that uh, Mr. Abramovich was having trouble with Bermuda and his, all of his yachts. Now, I was never able to confirm this story. I did ask a number of people if they could help me out with this one, but I never got anything back. But I, but this seems to confirm that story. I mean, that vessel is arrested currently in Antigua, but it's changed flag states, which is a bit unusual. But I suspect that we might see Halo following in the, in the next week, and it could be that all of his boats will change. Not necessarily to the Cook Islands, but they could all be changing to another registry very soon. So I'll keep an eye on that, and I'll get back to you uh, when I have more on that story. But while we're on the subject of uh, losing flag states, uh, Motiot Elsia also lost her flag state recently. Now, this is a 49 meter yacht built by Italy Yachts in 2011 and is currently in Gojek in Turkey. Now, Gojek in Turkey is one of the most concentrated spaces right now for Russian owned super yachts. And, um, and this boat is, is there. Now, this boat used to belong to Iksandr Makhmadov. Now, he's the chap who owns uh, Predator. Now, if you, if you saw my video about um, uh, the ghost boat video, you'll, you will remember that there was a boat that was last location, known location, was on it, was next to a swimming pool in Sardinia. Well, that was Predator, and that's Iksandr Makhmadov's uh, boat. Now, he used to own Elsia. But according to Boats International, on uh, in 2016, that vessel was sold uh, to a new owner by Imperial Yachts. Now, as far as I'm aware, Imperial Yachts ma they did manage the vessel. They sold that vessel to a new owner, but I don't know who the new owner is. So, if you know, please get in touch. But it is a Russian-owned vessel still. Now, the vessel lost its Cayman Islands flag which is very interesting because I've not seen, like all of the boats out there, most boats are registered in the Cayman Islands. It's the biggest uh, yachting registry as far as I'm aware. And I haven't seen any Cayman Islands boats being re-registered until now. So it's a very interesting development. Um, now the vessel has been re-registered to uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And that's just happened in the last couple of weeks. So that's, yeah, that's a very interesting development. Vessel's still in Gojek in Turkey. So, uh, and while we're on the subject of Gojek in Turkey, we'll move on to the next uh, vessel. So, Motiot Flying Fox is also in Gojek in Turkey. She was in the Dominican Republic a few months ago. You'll remember if you watch the channel regularly that she was arrested there and uh, the uh, ICE, the uh, US ICE people were on board searching and etc. etc. And then the vessel just suddenly up and left uh, one day. And the only thing that the government said was that she'd left. They never give any reasons why. Um, and that was the end of that story. She raced across the Atlantic and went straight to Turkey. Now, she's been there ever since. This is the, one of the first vessels to be sanctioned by the US government. The vessel has been sanctioned. I think this is a way of getting around the figure now who the owner is. Now, what I'm told by sources is that the vessel's now on a minimum crew um, because of the fact that it's not being used and they're struggling to get crew, I believe. Imperial yachts, again, uh, are currently moving people around uh, to different boats because they're, they're unable or uh, struggling to get new uh, recruits right now. So they're having to move m uh, crew around to various boats. This is what sources have told me. Uh, the, the, the crew have, have been asked to sign very tight NDAs, and I've seen a, a, an Imperial NDA, and they are pretty severe. I don't know whether this is a standard one or an even more strict one, but uh, yeah, so that's an interesting development. Uh, so that vessel's not going anywhere anytime soon. Now, still in that same location in Gojek in Turkey, we have Motiot Eclipse. So sources tell me that a Motiot Eclipse is also running on a minimum crew, or not a minimum crew, but they're down to about less than 30 crew. One source telling me as low as 25. Now that sounds like a lot. I know you're probably thinking that's, that's a, a lot of crew, but that vessel normally crews around 70 crew. And it's a big boat, isn't it? It's uh, 160 meters. 
So uh, yeah, it's a, it's a big boat. It needs a big crew normally, but they're down to a very minimal crew. And that would explain why it's not going anywhere. So with that in mind, it's possible that if Abramovich is struggling on that boat, it makes sense to, to think that all of the boats are going through the same problem, right? He's got another boat, Motiot Solaris, the 143 meter, 146 meter uh, brand new boat. And that's also in um, in Turkey, but it's in a place called um, Yalik, Yalik Kavak. I don't know whether I pronounced that correctly, but... That vessel is at anchor there right now next to uh, another Russian boat called Motia Anna. Uh, this is owned by Dmitry Robolev, and um, he's the owner of uh, AS Monaco football team. One interesting thing about Solaris, though, is that she's at anchor in that, in that location, but, she, but on the, according to AIS, it says she's in Anchorage, Alaska. But that's a very interesting development there with the with the flags losing the flags uh, definitely going to stay on top of that one uh, i'll bring you any updates if i have them uh, so i'm going to leave it there uh, if you've got any information about any of these stories if you know the owner of alciras please get in touch you can use the usual uh, things like a about page of fa of the youtube channel uh, facebook messenger instagram and you can get me on threema this is a, a new way to get a hold of me. It's a completely anonymous app. You don't have to put in your phone number or your email or anything like that. You can use that. It's free to download, etc. I'm not sponsored by Threema. I'm not trying to sell anything to anyone. I just picked this one because of the anonymity that goes with that app. So uh, I'll put a, a code on the screen. You can scan that code. On oh, there's a there's a there's a, a, a series of letters there. That's that's how you get hold of me. You type that in, and then you can send me a message. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks very much for watching. Please be sure to like this video, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell for future notifications. Uh, I'll catch up with you soon, guys. Bye bye.